and grow YouTube show. I can't believe how easy tea is. Like, can you walk us through how, how we're making tea with fresh and with dried? Yeah. So you're going to get more bang for your buck with if you dry your herbs first to make your tea. But you can make tea from fresh herbs. You're just going to have to use like two or three times as much of plant material. But I love to make like fresh. That's probably the easiest way is just let's say in the summer when you've got fresh lemon balm or mint or for any of you that grow anise hyssop or you might know it as um, Korean licorice mint or uh, lemon verbena or lemongrass, yeah. you can just like stuff a jar full of those herbs put it in the sun for like four hours and strain it. And um, that's not going to be the strongest tasting tea, but sort of more like an infused water flavor. Um, but so really just drying your herbs. So um, picking your herbs and if they are clean and in an area that's not sprayed um, and there's no dirt on them, you don't even need to wash them. And you can just dry them either if you have a dehydrator, you can dry them that way. Or for me, I put herbs on a indoor clothes rack, like those Amish clothes racks. Mm -hmm. You can just hang them from there. And uh, my where I live, my climate's real humid. It depends on where you live. But because it's humid where I live, I put a dehumidifier in that room and it speeds up the drying process. And the quicker you dry your herbs, the more potent they will be. And after they're dried, you want to put them in a jar to keep out the ambient moisture because they will reabsorb ambient moisture. So put them in a jar, so an airtight jar or a bag, like a Ziploc bag, and then they'll keep for a year to two, like leaves and flowers keep a year to two, roots even longer. And then if you're using like a recipe in a book, those recipes are usually, they're giving store-bought tea proportions for loose tea so when you buy tea that's just like loose and not in a tea bag it's in smaller pieces than when we home you know when we dry herbs at home mm -hmm. so you're going to use a little bit more tea than you would use in let's say a tea bag because it's not going to be as like mushed into small, smaller pieces by machinery you can crumble it yourself once the herbs are dry you can tell they're dry because you'll crumble and you can they'll crunch and that's how you can tell that they're dry enough to store right because as you can imagine if you store them when they still have some moisture they'll mold in that jar so make sure they're dry when you store them and then you can crumble them or not crumble them but to make a simple infusion the the easiest way is if you have a french press that you want to keep separate from coffee if you use your french press for coffee but that is the easiest way to make homemade tea with loose herbs or you can buy these cute little tea strainers um, mountain rose herbs is a good place to buy them but anywhere that sells uh, medicinal qualities and it's just a little strainer that'll sit right on your individual tea mug put your herbs in it pour your boiling water over it let it sit for two to five minutes and then just put this the herb in the compost and then you pull your strainer out and you're ready to go it's easy i love it yeah we have a french press so that's that's what i was doing and it's so easy <laughs>